universe and welcome to the review of the last match day in Germany and yes we're doing Germany only the background only German teams finally can do it uh, very happy about that as well we also add a teeny bit of the second Bundesliga in there as well because we now of course know who is gonna get promoted and who will play in the relegation as well and spoiler alert it's massive teams it's all massive teams, so I think the next Bundesliga season uh, looks actually quite tasty in many, many ways. But yeah, uh, before we go a little bit into the detail, I mean, there were of the nine games that were on the schedule, five had kind of some implications for Europe and for uh, especially the relegation battle. Uh, but it was more uh, who is going to be safe and who goes to the relegation playoffs than uh, really down because we already knew who more or less is down. And we'll look at that in a second as well. But I want to say there is something... And I guess it's me growing up in a German-speaking country where you always have the Bundesliga. But the last match day of the German Bundesliga, there's always something special. There's always some heartbreak in there. There's always a little bit of drama. And we had it there as well. I mean, if, if, I gotta say, it started uh, more or less with a bang. But then... Uh, the way that things turned out, it was plodding along and yeah, there's not much excitement. And I even remember midway through the second half, I, I said... There is a potential for this to become absolutely crazy. I said it to my wife. Uh, to become absolutely crazy. But we're not there yet. It needs two or three goals. And then it exactly happened that way that suddenly you had to switch around between uh, five games. Because uh, everyone was kind of within inches. And one team, Stuttgart in the end, uh, got the big jackpot of not getting relegated at all. And me being a Stuttgart fan, although they played against Köln, but I thought Köln, uh, I was very happy already with their season. For me, I think I wanted to have Stuttgart in. Uh, uh, it's a team that just belongs in the Bundesliga. I don't need any relegation playoff with them as well. So yeah, uh, I would say we'll start and we'll start with the table from the end of last week. So uh, that we know what was going on. So what were the key battles? First three were already decided. The first uh, battle was between Leipzig and Freiburg, who goes into the Champions League, uh, with Freiburg having a game at Leverkusen and Leipzig an away game at uh, Bielefeld. So very different challenges. Uh, also, the two of them will meet, of course, in the German Cup final. We'll talk about that in a sec as well. So uh, it basically needed a Leipzig loss and a Freiburg win. And you see already uh, the chances were rather minuscule for that. Uh, we had also a battle uh, between Union Berlin and Köln, who will go into the Europa Conference League. Um, again, Köln needed the win and uh, needed the win. And uh, probably a little bit goal difference could play in there as well. But I think a win and the Union Berlin loss... Uh, would have done that, even a draw would have been enough there. So uh, there was a possibility for that as well, to get in, 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 into a better league. Uh, remember, Union Berlin finished seventh last season, which was their best ever. So they had a huge chance of finishing better than, uh, than ever before. And then, of course, midfield, not much happening, uh, but on the bottom, we had Hertha, who had to go to Dortmund, needed to get a point. They already missed two match points. They could have been safe already. No, they always lost. Although they had a really good run in between. But uh, a draw against Bielefeld where a win would have done for them. And then uh, at home at Mainz, uh, they also lost when a draw would have been enough. So they had to go now to Dortmund, which uh, is of course not an easy task. Although Dortmund didn't have much to play for, except last place for Erling Haaland, who is of course joining Manchester City. And then uh, we already say Stuttgart playing against Köln, um, needing of course uh, the win because it's three points, but goal difference would carry them over uh, Hertha out of uh, the uh, relegation spot. And in a way, there was a little teeny tiny chance for Bielefeld, uh, but it would need a Stuttgart loss and um, a big, pretty big win over Leipzig for them uh, to uh, go into the relegation playoffs. So we kind of knew it's not going to happen uh, in many ways. And this is where we're going to start. Um, I know I give you here all the results already, but uh, I want to first start between the um, Bielefeld and Leipzig and Leverkusen and Freiburg, um, where um, 
the Bielefeld Leipzig game, uh, most of the time it was really Leipzig controlling, uh, but without really being dangerous. However, uh, it got rather interesting in the 70th minute when Serra uh, gives Bielefeld the lead. And at that point, Leverkusen were 1-0 down, but suddenly they uh, 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 Leverkusen were 1-0 up uh, through an Alario goal, fully deserved at that point. Lever Leverkusen were definitely uh, uh, very much in control of that game. Um, uh, also, the last uh, game, uh, it, it, uh, there was a big scene, like Rudi oh, Völler is stepping away from Bayer Leverkusen, so um, uh, he had been working there in management. So, uh, you know, very emotional day as well. So, and, and with these emotions, you also kind of carry forward in many ways uh, that a game that doesn't mean some, something, you want to give Rudi Völler the last uh, win as well. But at that point, if we win this game, we actually get into the Champions League. And in the 88th minute, they actually get the equalizer through Habara. We're pushing forward, um, however, it then really didn't go all the other the way because Palacios uh, from more or less the halfway line uh, scores the winner and then Willy Orban also makes it safe uh, with 1-1. Uh, so that race was rather quickly, uh, was then decided, but there was a chance a teeny bit uh, for uh, Freiburg to go into the Champions League. It didn't work out. I still think Europa League for Freiburg is already a massive and great result. I would have loved them to see them in the Champions League, of course. And then we're left with three games that are uh, all were kind of implicating each other uh, with Dortmund and Bochum uh, being kind of the spoilers to the party in many ways. So we had um, Union Berlin against Bochum, we had Dortmund against Hertha and we had Stuttgart against Köln. Um, let's start with the Union Berlin game uh, at, uh, at, at, at first, which seemed to be going all Union's way. Prömer and Avonje with a penalty give them a rather secure lead and everyone in Berlin was already partying, at least at the Alte First High Stadium. Uh, because, you know, Tun uh, Tun lead, you play Europa League and you finish higher than ever before in the Bundesliga, which is, uh, it, it, it cannot be overstated. This, when Union Berlin, to me, growing up, they were, uh, you know, third league at uh, best Maybe they can go in the second league. Uh, the transformation of this club to be a top team in the Bundesliga is an absolute massive, massive, massive event. Yeah, absolutely. And their stadium is so peculiar because it's standing room on three sides. Uh, there is something that it, 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 it's something really, really, um, in many ways, countercultural. So we had Union Berlin. Now, uh, Köln had to play in Stuttgart, and Stuttgart, of course, needing a win, and Stuttgart going all out on that one. Um, uh, missing chances, getting then a penalty that Kalajic um, sees saved. I mean, it was a brilliant save just over the crossbar, then I think he even touches the crossbar. But right from that corner, Führich puts it in Kalajic. It's just a few seconds later, heads it in. And it's 1-0 Stuttgart and everything breaks loose. And what um, happens then is that um, Stuttgart ac actually having the upper hand, going forward and actually um, uh, missing many, many good chances. Um, however, it didn't last all that long, uh, the euphoria for Stuttgart, because uh, in Dortmund, you really needed uh, Dortmund to win against Hertha, and one would expect that to be. However, Hertha, with a very, very defensive plan, uh, keeping everything tight, knowing that Dortmund have uh, trouble uh, in that way, and then even earning a penalty, uh, that yes, I was initially hoping maybe, maybe, maybe not, da, 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 da. but uh, the more you saw the replay was a clear penalty. It initially was not uh, given as a penalty because of an offside, but the offside went quickly out of line. And then uh, really I think it was Akanji, how he goes in there. Uh, it would be clutching on straws to say that this was not a penalty. Uh, and then Belfold deal in the 80th minute steps up and it's 1-0 Hertha. And at that point, yes, Stuttgart is leading, but Hertha keeps the three point lead and defending bravely. At this point also Union Berlin over Köln in the, um, in, in the Europa League. And this is how it then was, the, uh, was uh, for um, up until the halftime we go in and honestly not much uh, really there happening. However, 
the race for this Europa League spot then suddenly got kicked into the next gear because Zola pulls one back for Bochum, seemingly only on a little bit um, celebrating too much. And Anthony Modest, I don't want to say against the run of play because current and a realist, yeah, um, we have to do our job there as well. And Modest finds an equalizer for current. So at that point, uh, it is that uh, Stuttgart is one point, uh, is, gets only one point, whereas Berlin is winning in Dortmund. And um, so as a four point difference, so a rather long way to go at this point. It needed one goal by Stuttgart and two goals by Dortmund. And uh, Köln was hoping, yeah, we have to go out. We can actually make this, uh, we, we can ac ac actually make the Europa League. Um, the next uh, point then was that, Hall, uh, that Dortmund gets a penalty. There was a few discussions that Haaland in his last game for Dortmund puts away. 1-1. One, one. So it's three points between those, but now one goal for Stuttgart might swing uh, things in their... F uh, no, it needed two goals. One goal for Stuttgart and one goal for Dortmund might swing um, things in Stuttgart's favor. Um, and then in the 79th minute, uh, Loven gets the equalizer for, Dor for Bochum. So that puts even more pressure on the current Stuttgart game because Köln is now one goal away for actually qualifying for the Europa League. I know it's not as much as surviving, but it still was quite there. And the game then in Stuttgart was really nervy, up, down, up, down. By the way, I have, have, have to mention that the Stuttgart jerseys were a tribute to the title winning jersey from 92, I have to say. Not a big fan. I think uh, the Adidas jerseys, yeah, they look uh, right for our time, but that was a template that never looked right. And I have to say, those Stuttgart jerseys, um, yeah, didn't look quite that good for me. In any case, so that game, a uh, rather nervy affair, could have gone either way. It is 2 2 uh, in Berlin. Uh, however, um, in, let's see. Next thing is that in Dortmund, then Dortmund suddenly really, you know, last game of the season, really trying to push forward and actually they do get the winner through Mukoko in the 84th minute. And now Hertha is hanging on by a thread. Then in Berlin, 3-2 through Avonji, meaning the pressure is now off Köln because, uh, you know, uh, Köln was really going for it at that time. But then it came through that uh, Union are leading again. And so, a kind of, in these last few minutes, you kind of felt, Kern, yeah, uh, they see they cannot make it anymore. And then it was all Stuttgart, who had uh, one or two chances there. Uh, it was nervous. Everyone knew we need to win because suddenly you hear the fans, Dortmund is winning. And then it is uh, Ito and Endo heading it in. And in the 92nd minute, and it's 2-1 Stuttgart. And while Hertha still tried, uh, the game was then over. Hertha already uh, being kind of dejected, but in Stuttgart, the game was still on. And it was not clear, because Kern, although they uh, didn't have much to play for it at that moment, they didn't give in. But in the end, Stuttgart hang on, and it's an escape uh, that was more or less facilitated with a big win. Uh, uh, not a big win, but a draw at Bayern last week. So a uh, pretty big result there, and Stuttgart stay in the Bundesliga. And as I said, I'm quite happy because Stuttgart, together with Köln, Schalke and Bremen, are my favorite, uh, are the, 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 the teams that I always like to have in the Bundesliga. Frankfurt is joining that, that, that for a big time at the moment. Um, just a little bit, I think uh, at this moment I am all behind Köln in many, many ways. Um, but Stuttgart Wall is a fun uh, team there as well. Okay, uh, of the other games, I think there's not much. I mean, uh, Gladbach 5-1 uh, against Hoffenheim uh, was the last game for coach Adi Hütter, where Gladbach played this immense fee and it kind of didn't work out and they both agreed to part ways uh, there. But at least a season that was relegation threatened at one point uh, ended well for them. Uh, Mainz Frankfurt 2-2. It was all about the Europa League final for Frankfurt going forward. So uh, it, although it was a derby, it didn't am amount to much. Um, 
I think Augsburg beating 2-1 uh, against Kreuter Fürth and then Wolfsburg Bayern Bayern having a 2-2 in squadering that one. However, Florian Kohfeldt was uh, released of his duties uh, for, at Wolfsburg also. I think the Kohfeldt magic, I mean, uh, Bremen really hung on to him and thought he's our club. It never uh, went there that way. And at Wolfsburg, he also uh, didn't uh, do much. So, yeah, that's how it went. Of course, uh, Bayern, the big talk about is Lewandowski, will he stay or will he go? So here's the final table for the German Bundesliga, but not yet uh, everything finalized. Bayern win the title, we knew that along uh, Dortmund, Leverkusen, Leipzig uh, will be in the Champions League next season. In the Europa League, we have Union Berlin finishing in fifth. Finishing in fifth at only one point behind Leipzig. Massive. They even overtake Freiburg and then Köln uh, in seventh. Also a very successful season for them. Uh, broad midfield. Uh, for me, it's actually remarkable that Augsburg uh, keeps staying up there in many ways because I always think of them as a team that might get relegation implicated, but they always manage to wiggle themselves out of out, out, out the field, which is also uh, loads of credit to them. As I said, Stuttgart, Leapfrog, Hertha. Hertha have to go in the relegation playoffs and uh, Bielefeld and Fürth are uh, going uh, down. If you look at all these teams, uh, probably with Bielefeld and Fürth being the, definitely the smallest teams, uh, in that sense makes sense, although I have to, I have to say Bielefeld, I, I have taken to them. I, last season I did not necessarily want them to stay up, but uh, the way they stayed up and so on, I really like them. No, and yeah, I was about to buy their jersey, but let's see, maybe I will. Uh, still uh, do so. Now, uh, we have, of course, relegation playoffs coming up. And uh, before we go into those, who is going up from the Bundesliga? Because the second Bundesliga finished yester uh, yesterday. Schalke was already through. And they uh, secure first place with a win at Nuremberg. Um, uh, with I, th I, I, I think another crazy goal was in there. Bremen uh, win also their game at home. So that's why you find Werder up here. Werder also back in the Bundesliga. So we have two messed two teams that got relegated last season, which seemed like a disaster. And you had a feeling that they might not come back. They immediately came back to massive, massive clubs. Uh, Stuttgart, uh, yeah, no, Stuttgart, Schalke is probably the third uh, large, the third best supported team in all of Germany, and Bremen is a perennial contender that I just belong in 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 the Bundesliga. So for that reason, I'm very very happy to see those two teams uh, come back. Although I have a feeling that at least one of them might go down again. But two massive teams coming back. And then it was between uh, lowly Darmstadt who uh, play uh, won. Big, oh, the, they needed to win 10 10 nil. The goal the, the friends would come in to play. Um, but Darmstadt uh, uh, beat uh, Paderborn um, relatively comfortable. And then it was all down uh, between Hamburg and Rostock, um, where Rostock even took the lead at the half, but Hamburg then turned uh, turned around in the second half, 3-1. There was a 3-1 um, lead at 2-1, uh, it, it, it was then in the, a, in the 80th. It was a, 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 actually quite a um, shocking scene when Rostock fans presented all the fan materials that they had uh, stolen from uh, Hamburg fans. And uh, there was this big empty block between the Hamburg and the Rostock fans. And the Ultras went there, put this all next to the Hamburg fans and put it on flames. There was a huge fire going on. But Hamburg then uh, made it 3-1. Rostock then uh, pulled probably back to 2-3. It got a bit nervy, but in the end, Hamburg quite easily make it there. And it is now Hamburg that play in the relegation playoffs against Hertha. That's massive as well. There's one team, one hugely supported team that will again not play in the Bundesliga. Those are two that this is uh, Hamburg, another absolutely massive team in Germany. One that absolutely 100% belongs into the Bundesliga. Uh, and Hertha Berlin, which is the best supported team in Berlin. And the West Berlin, uh, the, the, the more or less the team of West Berlin. It's another playoff. Uh, I think this could get ugly, honestly. This uh, I have a feeling this will get ugly. The first game is played on Thursday um, in Berlin and then the second game in Hamburg Monday evening uh, against Hertha. Uh, that's almost must watch 
in many ways, although it will not, uh, those won't be really good games. And in between, we have a German Cup final. Also in the Olympia Stadion. So we have two massive games in the Olympia Stadion uh, uh, within two days. Freiburg against Leipzig. Two very contrasting teams. There is the big empire team from Leipzig uh, being propped up by Red Bull and then there's Freiburg, a team that is literally fan run and even uh, the, the, the club then saying we do not want our club logo on any merchandise together with the Red Bull logo because it's against the values of a club. And bravo Freiburg. You can tell, despite me liking this jersey, you can tell that I'm for Freiburg in this final. Big time. So yeah, this almost finishes up the German season. I will, uh, you know, we'll talk about all these results um, in next week's uh, uh, video uh, because you know the Austrian league is also finishing up in the way, um, and then we'll take it from there. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you thought about the end of uh, the Bundesliga. Um, and yeah, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!